This first year computer information system student sews and makes star blankets outside of studies. Dale Swamby is teaching his niece Sakura Sampson how to make a star blanket. Swampy is from Masquachi, Alberta and started sewing colorful blankets a few years ago. Uh, today we're going to be making a star blanket with a, a Christmas theme. He makes them from his bedroom where he lives with family while in school. Swampy first selects the colors. For this demonstration, he's using white, red, and green colors. He uses a drawing grid to see which color he chooses to start with. The next step is to cut the cloth using his cutting tool and measuring device. Each strip is going to be three inches. Samson is learning the process. She is being taught how to make the base of the blanket, helping with each step. Cutting is the easy part. My uncle, Dale Swampy, has been teaching me how to make star blankets. Uh, he taught me how to iron them and cut them. Um, and he recently taught me how to uh, start using the sewing machine to finally uh, finish them. And he shows me how to uh, putting all the layerings into the blanket. So there's like the like the insulation, I guess it would be, and then the sheet, and then the the star with the blanket. Sewing the pieces take time. Each square is 45 degrees to make a star with eight points. The star is the most important part. If anybody can get really good at this part, um, sewing together the three rows and then dividing those three rows, cutting them into eight, at 45 and then sewing one row on top of the on top of the second row and then the second row on top of the third row you open them up iron them and then piece your diamonds together or squares and then you put two and two and then you do that till you get four twos four pairs and then you take two pairs and you take the pair and you make it a half and then you take the two halves and then you put them together and that makes the star. A lot of times people do spend a lot of time trying to get their uh, points touching. Like, and for anybody who's a beginner, I would say not to focus so much on that and just get it done. Um, your first star is not gonna be the best star. Um, if we did our best the very first time, we would never be do anything a second time, so. <laughs> Stitching, using the sewing machine, takes a bit more patience. When it's complete, one half of the star is sewed with the other half to make a full star. In the end, you'll be able to create colorful, beautiful patterns of your own. Like, um, Many of the star blankets are yeah. seen in indigenous cultural activities that include ceremonies or celebrations. For the Calgary Journal, I'm Floyd Blackhorse.